This week, I'm gonna sort my decking out. It's gone a bit rotten in places, and I'm gonna re-landscape the garden. It will probably take a bit longer than a week, but I'll keep you updated. This is part one of a series of videos on landscaping my garden. Last year, I painted my decking, and the decking boards lasted fairly well. However, the base of the decking boards is totally rotten. As you can see, it's falling apart. So it's now time to replace the decking, but I might reconfigure it slightly as there is probably a little bit too much decking in the garden, so I'm going to reduce it a bit. I'm going to extend the patio, which is made of slate. I'm going to extend this a little bit further, then I'm going to put decking on the right hand side. I've sketched out a design to show how I want this to look. I've worked out how many slate paving slabs I need and how big the decking area is going to be. This is the base of the decking. I've sketched this out so I know exactly how many lengths of timber I need. I've then put a budget together. I've sectioned this into two, the slate patio area and then the decking area. I should save a bit of money as I'm going to be doing the work myself. In the final video of this series I'll update you with how much I actually spent as I think there are many other items that I might need. I've totaled this and it's come to £828.7p. Oh it's quite a bit of money, I'd better get some more hits on YouTube. Ok, now it's time to take up the decking boards, I'll see if I can reuse some of the decking screws and it might be a bit of an easier way to take the boards up too. But some of the screws are not coming out, so I'll just see if I can use this shovel to prise the decking boards up. Some of the boards are a bit tricky to pop up. You may have to be careful that they don't ping up the wrong way. This is taking a little bit longer than I expected, but it keeps you fit. I'm going to use some of the good decking boards again on another project I'm working on. That's some of the boards up. This is a bit of a mess. As you can see the decking barriers are totally rotten. I'm going to cut some of the boards into lengths for the next project I'm going to be working on. Instead of hiring a skip, I'm going to load these into my car and take them to the local tip. These are the best boards that I've managed to salvage. But this lot needs to be thrown out. Ok, now it's time to load them up into my car. Let's see how this lot smashes up. What a mess. This is the armoured cable that runs to my shed for the power. I'm going to have to rebury that and I need to work out what to do with this junction box. managed to get it all into my car. It's a bit of a squeeze though and I think I need to give my car a good clean afterwards. Ok, time to rebury the armoured cable. I've dug a trench for it. I'm 
not going to bury the junction box as I may need access to this in the future. I've got this high tough cable and I've dug a trench about 18 inches deep to bury it. I'm also going to bury this bit of plastic ducting for the lights for the decking. Okay, now it's time to dig down. I'm going to dig down 15 centimetres. I'm going to allow 10 centimetres for the MOT Type 1 sub base and then four centimetres for the mortar to set the slate tiles on. And the slate tiles are one centimetre thick. I'm going to extend this little wall, which will act as an edging for the patio. I'll make sure the junction box is on the outside of the new wall that I'm going to build. I'm going to continue this wall here, but that's going to be in the next video. These are the bricks that I'm going to use. I'll half this brick and set them on that concrete base. Put this line in place to work out the level and how far I need to dig down. I'm going to use all the excess earth to extend the grass area. This is the patio area that I'm going to be extending and I'm going to take out these half slates and replace them with full size slates. The depth is about right on this section here. This is where the decking is going to go. This is already 15 centimetres deep. Right, let's level this off. I'm going to block this hole in the ducting with a bit of tissue to keep it clear and stop any earth going down it. I've come across some concrete here. I'm just going to smash this out with a big crowbar. I'm going to use the concrete as hardcore over here on the base where I'm extending the patio. And then I'm going to make sure that I only put the topsoil on the grass area. I'm going to make sure the lawn area is all level. I'll reseed this area with grass seed. Okay, that's about level now. Let's make sure that it's all the right height. I've made sure there's going to be a slight runoff and it slopes at a very slight gradient. I'm making sure the bubble on the spirit level is on the line and not actually between the line. Having a slight slope will allow any rainwater just to drip off onto the grass area. That's about right. Yep, yeah, that's 15 centimetres. I've made a mess of the whole garden. I hope the grass grows back. Now I'm going to dig out this area for the decking. Nearly there. You can see where the decking is going to go to and where the grass will start. to see where the slate patio will go. I'm using these previous concrete piers that the old decking was sitting on as a level. There are one, two, three, four piers and then this one right at the end. I'm using a scaffold pole as a straight edge just to make sure that I've dug down deep enough. Yeah that's about deep enough. I'm also using a scaffold pole to level the garden. Great, that's the grass area leveled now as well. It's ready to be seeded. I 
I'm going to make sure that the earth is compacted before I put the scalpings down. The scalpings are also known as MOT Type 1. I'm going to use this wooden peg and then hammer it down so there's 10 centimeters of wooden peg showing. This is so I'll know exactly how much of the MOT Type 1 subbase to put down. Okay, that's all that done now. It's ready for the subbase. Next time on Landscape in My Garden, I'll be rebuilding the retaining wall. Until next time, please stay tuned.